I'm Angie Ripley with Ingle and Volkers of Kansas City. Today, we are in Lee Summit, Missouri. Welcome to the American Dream TV, the show that features lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and in this episode, we're headed to Kansas City, where we're featuring Engel and Volker's Kansas City. Let's get this episode started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. These are stories for you and by you. Angie Ripley with Engel and Volkers of Kansas City. Today, we're in Lee Summit, Missouri. In 2020, we saw over 2,300 homes sell in Lee Summit. That is a 12% increase over 2019. The average selling price is $325,000. In Lee Summit, you'll find quaint, locally owned businesses, a vibrant community, tree-lined streets, and walkability. Last year, we saw over 2,300 homes sell. That is 12% over the previous year, with an average selling price of 325,000, and 75,000 over the average market sell for the entire Kansas City area. Let's meet up with Sergio and Lauren, two of Engel and Volker's trusted real estate advisors, and pop into some of these locally owned businesses right here in downtown Lee Summit. Hi, I'm Lauren Carter with Engel and Volkers Kansas City, and we are here in downtown Lee Summit. I'm Sergio Candelas with Engel and Volkers Kansas City, and again, we're in downtown Lee Summit. I'm very excited about the opportunity to introduce you to our home, uh, this space that we're very, very familiar with and absolutely love. So downtown Lee Summit is a great place. It gives you a quaint but bigger city vibe. There's everything in downtown. There's shopping, there's eating, there's drinking. There's something for everyone here. It's ever growing and ever changing. It changes with the times. So the one thing I can appreciate about downtown Lee Summit Main Street is that they've been nationally recognized. In fact, they've won the Great American Main Street Award, wow. which is an award that's only been won by five different communities yearly across the entire nation. So for Lee Summit to make it there, it, that's a big deal. Yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me at all with how downtown Lee Summit is though. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So yeah. it doesn't surprise me that it won. All right, awesome. So why don't we just go ahead and check out Very Violet? Sounds good. We're here with Melissa in Very Violet. Melissa, do you want to tell us how you kind of got started with this store? Long story, but I'm going to make it short. I had a friend that wanted to open a store. She didn't know how to start. She invited me to help her. I was so excited. Within 24 hours, she backed out, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a gorgeous store. I mean, you know, it's it's a wonderful space, and uh, every of uh, the decor is just fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that. We love it. We love it. We have the best community ever. Yes. We have 20 local artists that bring things into our store. We host artist pop-ups. We actually have an upstairs space that we do workshops and gatherings when it's safe to do so, which makes this unique. But we have jewelry, we have soy candles, we have home decor, we have paintings and signs and just something that you might not find anywhere else. When searching for names, I knew that Violet had to be in the name because my grandmother's name was Violet. My parents divorced at um, when I was four and I spent almost every summer holiday with my grandmother Violet. She actually raised my two brothers as well. Uh, she taught me to crochet, sew, thrifting, painting. She was an amazing lady, and I feel like we needed to honor her somehow. Oh, that's fantastic. So, Melissa, you own the store next door as well, don't you? I do. We were bursting at the seams. We started in a little bitty house over on 2nd Street, a block over, 
in 2014, expanded over here in 2016, bursting at the seams in 2019. Same landlord offered up next door and we took it, wow. ran with it. It's great. You would think um, all the craziness this year has brought, but right. honestly, like I said, our community is amazing. They support us. They lift us up um, like no other and it's going great. So we're here at Smoke Brewing Company. Can't wait to get in there, talk to the good people that manage the place and taste some of their food. So let's go in there and uh, have some fun. Awesome. We're here at Smoke Brewing with Josh and Josh. Can you tell us a little bit about all this food that's here in front of us? So starting out at the end is our doorway to Hellburger. Sitting in front of you is our brisket sandwich, which is our probably most popular sandwich we have. Moving down to our salmon here, this is our lemon pepper salmon with a tarragon bechamel. Moving down even further, we've got peanut butter and jelly wings, our pulled pork sandwich, which is pulled pork, coleslaw, jalapeno, jam, garlic aioli, and then lastly, we've got just a barbecue platter, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, skin on red mashed potatoes in house, uh, our purple coleslaw, and then a mixture of sliced turkey and beef and eggs. Nice. Yeah. So you've been here, you said, for four years now? Four years, March 27th. Four years, Lee March 27th. Uh, so what drew you to Lee Summit? Born and raised here. I, I've always kind of had a love affair with downtown Lee Summit and honestly never wanted to own a business down here because of my love of it. I always felt like it cloud my judgment, but it's worked out really well for us. We're actually in the process of starting our second restaurant two doors down. Do you find a lot of repeat business or, or the community coming out to support you guys and stuff? Absolutely. That's been the great thing about being down here is that you know, during this really, really rough time for restaurants, we've had a great outpouring of support from anybody down here or from Lee Summit in general. It's just been really cool to see community come together and support small businesses like us. We love seeing them, having them come in. Every Sunday we've got an entire bar full of everyone who just loves being here and mm -hmm. we appreciate them. And you guys brew your own beer. Can you tell us a little about, bit about your beer? Sure. So we are a 10 barrel brewer, brewery, which basically that means 310 gallons per batch. Well, we brew everything from IPAs, Belgian styles, German styles, English, you know, whatever we feel like at that time. That's what we brew. Yeah, no, it's been fun. It's been a great process. So we just recently bought a canning line, so we'll be in grocery stores hopefully within the next six months. Is there a, a beer I should taste? Well, all of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We have to thank you 100%. Yeah. I mean, what we just previewed here was absolutely incredible. I mean, everything, every flavor you can imagine from different heat levels to super spicy to mild, it was just so tasty, so wonderful. I mean, the ribs in and of themselves just killed it for me. Thank you. We take pride in what we do here. We always believe in going to the extra level to make people, make our guests satisfied and for them to come back and return. All right, thank and awesome. you totally did that. You went above and beyond. Thank you so much. You know what, Lauren? I think I'm feeling pretty social today. Are you? Well, yeah. it's as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Third Street Social, excited to uh, get in there, taste some food, and talk to the good people managing the place. So we are here today with Ginny at Third Street Social. 
Jenny, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about Third Street Social and its history? Yeah, of course. Um, so we have been open almost five years now. We are located in the heart of downtown Lee Summit, right across from City Hall in the historic Arnold Hall building. A little bit of history about our building, which we're really excited about here, is we have some ties with Harry Truman. Uh, Harry Truman uh, announced his candidacy for a traveling judge of Jackson County right here on our steps. Wow. So there's a plaque out front that awesome. commemorates it. And it's really exciting. A lot of people will come in and ask a lot of questions about it. Well, that, that, I was going to ask that. Do you think that the the history behind it is a big draw or helps a little bit with It really people's... does help, help quite a bit. Um, you have, you know, the history buffs that come in, but then when people see uh, the photos and we have a little blurb about the building and things that have happened, it really um, brings up a lot of conversation with the staff members and gets people really excited yeah. to ask questions and see just what this building has done here in, in Lee Summit. The downtown Lee Summit area and pretty much all of Lee Summit has really, you know, come together and really helped us here. They all come in, we're local, they like to support local. Right. Do you find a lot of the regulars come here often or is it? We do have a lot of regulars. Okay. Um, a lot of regulars that come in for dining and a lot of regulars that come in and sit over on the bar side as well. How often do you see people from out of the the area come through? All the time. We really? have people coming from Johnson County, we've seen people coming in from Nebraska and Arkansas wow. just to try things like our pot pie or our fried oh, that's, chicken. That's yeah. awesome. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. so, so for people that aren't very familiar with the restaurant, I mean, what, how would you categorize your food? What kind of food are you? We are American style comfort food is how I would categorize uh, Third Street Social. We have excellent fried chicken. We have a uh, pot pie, um, which is made in house with a fresh puff pastry. Yeah. Um, a Southern style shrimp and grits. And we also have some steaks and seafood items. We have a 43 ounce tomahawk ribeye. Wow. Um, which food is, challenge. Yeah, food challenge. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people come in just to have that. Totally. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you taking the time to talk yes, to us course. and introducing us to the, your world, your restaurant, yeah. and everything that is Third Street Social. Very excited well, to have spent the time. I'm so happy that you came in and that I was able to share this with you. So Absolutely. thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Mm -hmm. to Whispering Woods. Let's go check out some new homes. Hello, I'm April Trout with Ingle and Volkers, Kansas City, and we are in the beautiful community of Whispering Woods in Lee Summit, Missouri. Out of our 32 first phase home sites, we have 12 home sites remaining and we'll be releasing our new set of lots soon. We poured our first foundation in winter of 2019. We have five custom home builders on site. We have a community walking trail, community dog park, and we also will feature a gorgeous community pool. And now we're gonna sit down and talk about all things building. I am here with April and Taylor. They are the new home specialists for Whispering Woods in Lee Summit. And we are actually going to ask them some design and build process questions. Let's start with design. So I want you guys to tell me with 2020, what are some of the new things that you guys saw? The new requests, that kind of thing. So this year in particular, we really had a lot of at home workspace that people were wanting to incorporate into their build. So whether that's a loft um, office space or maybe an extra bedroom that they're turning in and adding an extra cabinetry to make it a really nice office space. Uh, something else that we've noticed is their outdoor space is important to them because so many people are spending so much time at home right now. Mm -hmm. They're adding in maybe some outdoor kitchens or outdoor fireplaces and just really making it cohesive for indoor outdoor entertaining. We're also, you know, seeing a lot of people need specific places for their children to learn from home. 
So whether that's turning a locked space um, into two desks or even just in their own little bedrooms, adding extra cabinetry or just a, a special sacred place where they can go to feel safe to learn mm -hmm. something that um, really gets them excited to learn in this new environment. That's been really a big request. Mm -hmm. So I know that was Greenwoods um, First Foundation went in in 2019 mm -hmm. and you guys have actually gone through um, quite a bit of your inventory for first phase. What, what, are, what are the plans going into the next, the next phase? You know, first of all, we have a lot of amenities that bring people to us. Um, we have a dog park going in, um, fenced in, um, kind of nestled in the woods. We have walking trails that will eventually lead into the Wee Summit Trail system, which is really, really cool. Tree lots. People want walkout tree lots right now. And that's something that we're very, really lucky to have right now. Right, out of our first phase, 32 home sites, we only have 12 remaining. With that, some of those are spec homes mm -hmm. and some are able to customize and you know build their custom home on. So with the next phase of lots, we're really gonna be focused on walkouts with wooded views and then also just some nice flat lots that people can just really have that nice cozy feel in their basement. Do you right now have some walkout wooded lots? We do have a couple left, but not very many. Those are premium, and so those tend to go quickly. <laughs> yes, I gotta hurry. <laughs> One of the reasons we hear that people shy away from building their construction is kind of the unknown. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you get people in that kind of have a lot of questions with that and maybe a little bit of anxiety. Tell me how you guys work through that or what do you see that kind of helps those buyers best? Well, first of all, it's important to note that we have five custom home builders. Custom meaning they have someone designated within their office that really will walk through the whole process with the buyer from the signing of the contract to the uh, getting the keys. Um, and that really alleviates the stress. You've got someone that will go to the design studio with you to pick out finishes so you're not, you're not feeling like you're second guessing yourself. You have someone to you know, really bounce ideas off of. Right, I feel like stress is a common misconception. And so our job here in the community is to really help take them on that journey of creating their dream home and bringing them from contract to close and making it as seamless as possible. What are you guys seeing as your demographic? Who, who is your buyers out here? So this community is just unique because it fits a lot of buyer needs. So being in the area that we're at, we're really conveniently, conveniently located next to shopping, schools, highways, everything, but we're still nestled away in this wooded community to where it still has that exclusive private boutique feel. Um, so we have been seeing a lot of empty nesters. Mm -hmm. um, we're nestled in right between an elementary and a high school. So we're also seeing families move in with children and um, people that are anticipating having kids. So it really just fits all kinds of, you know, buyers. I know that with the Lee Summit High Schools, they're very big on their athletic programs and stuff. Um, so that must be kind of nice to have the high school right there and football games and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. we have award-winning schools around us and we're really excited about that. Very cool. Eventually, we'll be able to walk from Whispering Woods to Lee Summit West High School. Uh, you can actually see some of the stadium lights from certain parts of the community. So it's just very unique to have mm -hmm. that. And we're looking forward to football season next yeah, year where we can do sound. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you'll hear like, yeah. you'll hear them playing and stuff. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. You can sit on our new back patio and listen to the scores. Yep. <laughs> yes, tailgating, you know, just that really uh, unique community feel yeah. is going to be really important. Yeah. You've got five designated builders here in the Spring Woods. Um, tell me a little bit about them and tell me their names again. We have Newmark Homes um, that's led by Craig and Rebecca Archer. He um, started the company with Don Julian in 2005. And Don, as you know, um, has been in the home building business for quite a while, since 1974. And he's really, really respected. He's kind of a pillar with the home He's like the godfather, right? Yes. So yeah, so we're really proud of that company and, and 
Um, everything they build is truly a masterpiece and they're really great to work with as well. We have JFE, whose beautiful home we're sitting in right now. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So uh, it's Chris Jeffries and Melissa Jeffries, uh, co-owners, and Melissa's actually the lead designer for that company. So they are located right here in the summit and they build truly true custom homes. So you could walk in and see a spec home that you like or a model home and say, hey, I want this feature from that model or you can come in and design from scratch. So that's the wonderful thing about working with them. Walker Custom Homes, who is just a wonderful builder. He's very hands-on. He does anything from a modern feel mixed with kind of a classic feel to traditional or craftsman. And so he's just very unique. Um, he's very involved with the whole process. So from the time someone comes in to do a framing walk, plumbing walk, you know, electrical, everything, he's there, which is unique. Yes. which is led by Kevin Stallings. His wife, Lon, is their interior decorator, and she is with you every step of the way when you are building your home, or even if you come in on a spec home and you wanna change some things, but she walks you through that process, and they, are, they have high energy, and they are really, really proud of their homes, and so are we. Rob Wash, I can't forget about Rob. Gotta love Rob. <laughs> Rob and Lindsay. So they're a really great team. Uh, Lindsay does a lot of the paperwork. They both sit in on uh, build meetings with clients. Uh, it's just a really nice, seamless process with them. Uh, they have probably one of the most requested plans right now, mm -hmm. that one and a half story, the Archer, mm -hmm. um, where the two bedrooms upstairs have their own bathroom and then there's that loft space, which is great yes. for kids that keeps them separate from the rest of the family if they, you know, want their own private space to play. Most of the time buyers know coming in, hey, I want a two story or I want a reverse floor mm -hmm. plan. So that is like the easiest thing. But then from that point, then we give them the options of all five builders and walk them through the models, kind of give them a feel for the design and the style, just everything. And we go through, say, JFB uses these products or, you know, with his sub flooring, he does nail glue, um, screw down from your sub floor. So that helps with all your squeaks. So that it's just built to last. And so, um, so just those, asking the questions like Taylor mentioned is exactly. probably that helps you really understand kind of their they're hot points. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then from that point, then we can decide, okay, well, this is probably someone who would really resonate with. And obviously they can interview all the builders if they want to, but we try and narrow it down for them to really help alleviate any stress and just make it seem like for them. Well, if you're looking for homes in the greater Kansas City area, then you are in luck. Ingle and Volker's Kansas City has their latest listings for you. Let's check them out. This charming home located in the heart of Kansas City is full of character, natural light, all the right updates and more. The unique craftsmanship, character beyond words and space is unmatched. Located just minutes from Rockhurst University, Brookside Shops and Restaurants and the Trolley Trail, there is something for everyone in this prime location. For more information on this incredible home, contact Allison Story at 816-804-9069. Located in the highly sought after Blue Valley School District, this stunning piece of land is perfect for building your dream home 
or creating an investment property. Zoned agricultural with two ponds on the property, no HOA restrictions, and approximately 78 acres with the option to split into two tracks. This land does not disappoint. To inquire about this listing, contact Jenna Phelps at 913-602-4993. Wonderful Home boasts four bedrooms, three bathrooms, main level living, vaulted ceilings, and a kitchen with beautiful cabinetry, island, and large pantry. Enjoy your luxurious master suite with tray ceilings, walk-in closet, and top-notch bathroom featuring a double vanity, soaker tub, and large shower. Tucked away in a quiet neighborhood in Raymore, but with easy highway access, making a commute to the city quick and easy if desired. This home is still at a stage of construction that would allow you to make selections for colors and finishes if you move quickly. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. For more information, contact Linda Welsh at 816-830 6219. With multiple Parade of Homes awards, this model home in Newtown at Harmony is full of stunning details, front porch living, and community amenities that are unparalleled. With an open concept design, gorgeous custom cabinetry, built-in wine cellar, and large basement space, this home allows for the perfect night in or opportunity to entertain, along with the outdoor kitchen to enjoy beautiful evenings outside. To learn more about this listing, contact Nick Leslie at 816-550-3905. Enjoy this fabulous corner lot in a private cul-de-sac with a plethora of trees and a gorgeous fenced backyard. Exterior paint is less than five years old and boasts a stunning new deck out back with two levels. Walk through the front door to soaring ceilings, wide open spaces, plantation shutters, and plenty of windows throughout. This kitchen has granite countertops and is open to a spacious living room with a huge fireplace, great for entertaining and large family gatherings. This five bedroom home with master on the main level has so much space you and your family will enjoy for many years to come. The lower level is wonderful for entertaining with a wet bar and family area, game room or bonus room, and fifth bedroom with full bathroom for guests, while also containing spacious, open storage for all the extras you may have. This one is truly a gem and really does have it all. Leewood is the place to be, and Blue Valley District is definitely a bonus. For more information on this home, contact Anita Criswell at 816-916-916. 9043. This award-winning Everest 2 by Kevin Stallings with Dreams and Design Building is located in Lenexa, Kansas in the exclusive Cottonwood Canyon community. A reverse one and a half story home with master on main floor, a spacious walk-in closet with pull-down racks doubling your clothing storage space. Kitchen, dining area, and great room make for a wonderful open feel. Laundry is off the kitchen along with bonus space and a pocket office. In addition, a wonderful pantry with a grocery door. Downstairs, we have two large bedrooms off a huge entertainment area with family room, bar, and half bath for your guests. For more information on this property, contact Sue Edwards at 816-682-9269. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the American Dream TV full of lifestyle, culture, and real estate. Make sure and follow us on social media and engage in the conversation at the American Dream Network.tv. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we look forward to seeing you next time on the American Dream. In the meantime, cheers to your American Dream.